Um, so my name is uh, Francesco Baresi, but you can call me uh, Franco. I'm, as I said, I'm from Australia, and uh, I uh, my major at university was undergraduate was sculpture, and then postgraduate was uh, performance art. Um, so I didn't actually study uh, sketching as such, and actually since 2011. Uh, um, through being a traveling English teacher to uh, countries such as uh, China and uh, Korea and Vietnam and now even in uh, now Hong Kong. Um, I, by, by being a um, traveling teacher and a traveling artist, uh, my chance to, uh, uh, to, to create art has been easier through sketching. Um, this sketch here is a girl from Vietnam. Uh, she's a she was a teenager, and so I did this uh, for her, and uh, she's a student. And this one here is a, a a sketch that I had done when I first came to Hong Kong. I find that most people are very interesting characters anyway. I tend to see uh, people, in a, so if I walk around, I like to see, if I see someone that's an interesting character, then I'll let me sit from far if it's a cafe or a, a bar. I would try to, if I'm at a bar, I'll have a beer and I'll sit from far away and uh, sketch, especially if they're having eye contact or chatting with someone and they have some interesting eye contact or they're smiling and they have a, then that kind of thing can add to uh, the sketch. Once I'm finished, uh, then I give the sketch, I show them that, and sometimes they're oblivious that I'm actually sketching. Sometimes they're not, they, they know that someone is in sketching. And then, so either way, it's kind of interesting for, uh, for them to uh, be surprised by give, me giving them a free, free sketch afterwards. Yeah. Here in Hong Kong, um, I've got my own groove, so um, I've got my things, and it's even like today, the sketches, I wouldn't be able to do public sketches like this as I had experienced in China. Here is this kind of dynamics is a, is a step up in some ways. <laughs> so cool, bro. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I just um, uh, started uh, uh, this is kind of more, you know, two sketches put together. Like that more like cartoon cartoonish, yeah. Um, I think um, Hong Kong uh, is a very uh, metropolitan and, and cosmopolitan city. 
I can uh, experience both Asian uh, culture, such as uh, cuisine and other things like this, but I can also experience uh, Western culture, like going to uh, Long Kwai Fong or Soho and uh, going to a bar and I experience uh, the Western style as well. So it's, it's a bit of a, a bit of a both. <laughs> wow. okay. That's fantastic. Looks similar. This yeah. looks okay. amazing. Yeah. Do you mind if I take yeah. a photo and hold it? Yeah, sure. How do we even it? We're going to be together. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, in China for many years and um, I met a, a Chinese professor from the arts department at particular university and he said to me one time no matter how beautiful the sketch looks if it doesn't look like the person it's not worth it so I need to try and make it look like a, otherwise it's not worth it. <laughs> yes, already. He looks like me. He looks like me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was in many parts, but I met the professor in uh, Jiangsu. In oh, Jiangsu, yeah. I think yeah, Jiangsu. You know. But I also stayed many years in um, in Hunan, in Changsha, like the largest amount of time. Very, very beautiful experience. Yeah. And you, and you do a lot of drawings there. Yeah, many, many, many. But I was in, I was in, I was in Changsha, Shenzhen, and It was much more convenient uh, being at a university in such a big luxury apartment in mainland China. It was, uh, you can't beat it. Whereas here, yeah, the, the apartment is a lot smaller, but in some ways, I think it's kind of cozy and it's kind of good. And uh, it's kind of, this, I'm lucky to have found this place, this particular apartment, because it's easy to make it from an, a, a bedroom to a studio style. And this, uh, this apartment is, uh, not too big, not too small, but uh, the, the bed, uh, when I start to paint, I felt that I put the bed up, so to give more space, and I purchased these uh, mats for the ground. I have just made some cans, some simple cans, and I would put water, and, and so one is for clean water, one is for more for the dirty water, so try to keep the paints, you've got the white colours and the So yeah, I think it's not as it's different, uh, and there are the, there are thing more, more beautiful things I think in the university campus uh, on the university apartment. But this is also I, I, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy here. The bottom line is I'm happy in both. But this is, this is good because I'm happy here because it's got good possibilities to to do things here in Hong Kong, and I'm I've got my groove. I've got things that I do. I've got my routine. So. Um, <laughs> my dad taught me how to do this when I was a, when I was a teenager because uh, he used to always make this kind of coffee when I was a growing up Italian, growing up in Australia. So, so you got to you got to here you got to make it to that part of the you, you can't you got to get below this part here. But so you grab the coffee from here and I just kind of bring it into here and. I'm trying to, and my dad said never to press, even though you do pre they do press it in Starbucks or like a cafe, but I, 
it's, you shouldn't actually press too much because uh, it then maybe it stops it from coming up to uh, as as efficiently. Well. <laughs> I think the face doesn't quite come a little me. fat. <laughs> a little too fat.